this is going to be a different kind of video that's just off the top of my head and to explain a few things when people come to this channel for a few reasons number one people are looking for ways to make money that's the number one reason that people come to this channel and there are people from all types of walks I have people who are millionaires watching this channel and I have people who are living in the same situation that I lived in when I was in the boarding house right now um, once again another shout out to Cleaver who's in central Kentucky it's the man took action the man took action he didn't have any transportation didn't have any money asked a few questions went out did what he needed to do and he is now has money in his pocket from nothing but hustle and that that Cleaver story a consult that I did yesterday with a young man who's struggling to find his way I had to remember my journey I had to remember <clears throat> I haven't always worked from home I haven't always had this type of control of my life I haven't had the privilege to wake up every day and go hmm what am I gonna do today versus hmm what the hell do I have to do today and I had to go back and that's why I redesigned the courses and I made a few changes first change and I'm gonna explain all of this because people will ask me so I'm gonna explain it two or three times I brought Hustler University back it's a paid group but hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna let you come in, hang out for a week, do whatever you wanna do for a week, and then you can hit the link, the subscribe link at the top of the group if you want to. If not, then you can leave. So that's how I'm doing Hustle University. It's going to be introductions to Hustle. It will not be the same material that's in 100K and 12, or Hustler Mastermind for the following reasons. Going back to what I said, how people find this channel, people are looking to make money. Typically, not always, but typically, people find this channel when they're desperate or they see something on television, such as Storage Wars or something like that. And then they come and either they come in desperate or they come in starry doll, starry eyed. Just, ooh, ooh. I'm going to find some treasure in the storage auction. Both times, the expectations are unrealistic. Can you make money from absolutely nothing but hustle? Yes, you can. However, the other side of that is, is probably going to be doing something that you despise, don't want to do, don't really care for because of your value to society. And that's not saying you're worthless. It's just saying essentially as someone put it to me you could be the nicest person in the world you happen up on the scene and there's someone that needs medical attention you're nice you get down there and you hey buddy are you okay he doesn't fucking need nice he needs a fucking doctor and if you're not a fucking doctor then you're not what that person needs it's not an indictment on your value to the world it's an indictment that your value at that particular situation is nil and many people find that hard to digest because their mama told them they were cute and special the reality is if you cannot provide something to the world the world doesn't give a fuck about you maybe your family maybe your friends they all care but the world at large says fuck you if you don't have anything for me I don't have a use for you and I'm gonna keep all my buried treasure riches and whatnot so hustler University will be introducing people to hustling because there is a misconception on what hustling is, what hustling is not. Hustling is a quick way to gain money. Most hustles will not become a long-term business. It's just something you can do to gain money, get money quick. I consider eBay a hustle. I consider Amazon a hustle. I consider Amazon FBA a hustle. For the simple fact that the customers on eBay and the customers on eBay or uh, Amazon are not your customers. If you can somehow get those people onto your email list, if you can get those people into your store, then at that point they become your customers, but not before. 
And that's why I consider those platforms um, a hustle. Short-term hustle is Uber. And that's another reason I'm doing Hustle University. I will introduce things in a webinar and show people websites and people just don't know that these things exist. They don't know that the stuff is out there. They don't know that you can rent out your car to people. They don't know that you can, if you want to be a driver, you can go with Uber. They don't know if you have special skills, you can go to Tash Rabbit. Folks don't know how to hustle and they don't know about all of the wonderful hustle platforms out there. So essentially, Hustle University is, this is a hustle, this is how you do it. Nine bucks a month, that's what that is. And uh, there's a special section with discounts and stuff for people in Hustle University. Now let me give you the methodology of what's going on with my business. Hustle University is for beginners, entry level. You never hustled before. You never owned a business before. This is gonna be a good place for you. 100K and 12, that's gonna be people who are started hustling, people who've made some money. Maybe you've been on eBay and Amazon for two or three years. Maybe you've been on Craigslist. That's gonna be for you. Then hustlers, Hustler Mindset Mastermind Group is about strategy. So to go back over that again, Hustle University is for the beginner, the novice. You never hustled or your hustle is only six months, maybe a year old. 100K, which contains 30 days to $2,500, which will contain 30 days to $10,000. That's gonna be there. That's gonna be 199 to get in. If you want to record it, webinars you'll have to go there if you want the additional commentary you'll have to go there and hustler mastermind we're going to do some funky strange stuff i'm going to give you my methodology on how i started businesses that's what i'm going to talk about there so there's three levels to what's going on with conundrum media and many people are like well how do i get the best deal i'm going to give you that information going back to what i just said where are you on that food chain are you a beginner? Are you an intermediate? Are you a seasoned business owner? If you're seasoned, hey, hit me up for a Hustler Mastermind, Hustler Mindset Mastermind. If you are not a seasoned business owner, then 100K to 12. And if you are brand spanking new and you still, as they used to say back in the day, wet behind the ears, Hustler University. There will be a ton of actionable content in Hustle University. I'll spend more time there answering questions and stuff. And like I said, I'll give you a week or two to put, nah, a week. If you ain't feeling it in a week, you're never gonna feel it. And at that point, you can just come on in. Links below the video. Now, why did I do this? There are so many people that are essentially trying to sprint before they learn how to crawl. I understand you have bills you need to pay. I understand your wife's on your ass about making more money. I understand your husband thinks you're worthless because you don't work. I understand that. I understand your family may be in your ass because you're trying to be an entrepreneur and they see no money, they see no results, therefore you're doing nothing but wasting time. Hustle University is gonna be for you because some of the hard truths are you may have to get a job. You may wanna hustle full time but you may have to go back and get a job and just dedicate your life to building your business, which means you go to work, then you build your business and you don't really do anything else. That's gonna be the reality because I like to see people successful. I wanna see you successful. I wanna see you win. But if you don't come into this with the proper mindset, if you don't really look at this from an objective angle, if you're looking for what I call you spend 15 bucks on a book and you expect $100,000 worth of benefit, you're going to be forever frustrated. You're going to be forever frustrated. I feel that I have a really good group of people that come to this channel and I just want to do a better job of giving you what you need and what you want versus what I think you need because I'm always evaluating this business. We're like, okay, well, that doesn't work. Well, that went really well. Uh, no, this didn't go so well. So there's always a constant state of evaluation and testing. And I just look at some of the questions that I get, and I was like, okay, these people have never started the business. So we got to crank it down again. And we got to crank it down again. And I'm not trying to be impolite or insult you, but if you don't know, you just don't know. So give you that stuff. And then 
you can move on up the food chain if you so desire because what I'm gonna do is create a launch pad where you can come in get you the hustle make you an extra hundred bucks or two hundred dollars a week get your money right get your bill situation right then once you stabilize because that's the number one reason people cannot become hustlers or business people bills and obligations and you know I had a few people and I'm not going to mention their name because you know they're doing I you know what they feel in their heart is right but there are people I know the reason that they cannot take lift is because they have family members dragging their ass down people who are not doing what they need to do in life and these people out the kindness of their heart are sacrificing their time effort and money to help these people out and I know of situations where we're in the second year of this shit and we're in the third year of this shit and I'm just like it's it, it bothers me. It bothers me that someone isn't doing what they need to do. And this isn't a case of, you know, you falling down and you getting hurt and you being in an auto accident and you need help. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who have long-term habits of fucking up and always are in the jam, always need to borrow money, always need some places, always need help because they know they can get it. I despise those people. I really do because they will suck off of the joy and the uh, positivity of folks who are out there trying to make it happen. It seems that people that are really, really pushing to be something in life just draw these people like flies. I don't know what it is. And maybe they have a savior complex. Uh -huh. It could be because you draw to you what you are. Once you change what you are, you will draw different stuff to you. I never had an issue or problem with gold digging women. My uh, my energy didn't draw them to me. They just knew I wasn't that type of dude because contrary to belief, I've always been the dude to make chicks pay for dates and stuff and bring it up. Like I take you out three times and like, oh, so you're not gonna cook dinner? Bring it up. Best way to meet expectations is to set them. And now it's like all the rage and more dudes are doing it and people are like all mad. I just think it's normal you know just showing a little reciprocity but essentially what i want conundrum media because you know conundrum is to what well, is it's a problem it's this big problem and the big problem is how to make money how to manage money how to save money so we want to deal with those issues but that's what's going on with my lineup and the books and the audio club and all these other things and probably I haven't made up my mind, but probably everyone that joins and pays for, yeah, probably I, I, everyone that joins and pays for Hustle University and make a special deal for the audio book club. Because once again, that's another thing about the valuation, because this is one of the things I know about having the publishing company. Many people will buy the book and not read the book, which means they're spending money, which is like great for me but they're not really getting the content and they're not using it and they're not benefiting, which is not good for you. I'm trying to change that up, you know, because it's uh, it pisses me off to see someone that I know bought one of my products and then they'll go on a forum and ask a question that's addressed in the uh, book they bought. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That shit drives me crazy. And people are caught up in shiny items. Instead of buckling down for 60, 90 days on one thing, it's hip hop hippie to the hip hop to the next thing oh there's another shiny thing oh there's another shiny thing oh squirrel i mean i see that all the time that is not going to help you that is not going to help you that is not going to help you you're going to have to stick with some for a prolonged period of time to really see what it's going to do and a long period of time might be 90 days i'm not talking about years and years but that's what's going on that's the new thing I will continue on with 30 days to $10,000. That's going to still kick off. And that's about it. That's about it. Once again, 30 days to 10000 You show up, you get the content for free. 3 to 4 p.m. If you want the recorded sessions, you have to buy into 30 days to $2,500 and join the Facebook group. That's the deal. That's my contract with you. So, with that, I'll see you on the good side.